Hello, I'm Harry Scholl, the inventor of the Cyclone engine. This is Alan Brown, the project engineer on the uh, systems. Here we have on the uh, biomass generator, the biomass hopper, which is right here, as you can see, is where you load biomass into the engine system. This is a, this is a pelletized wood. Other small particles of uh, biomass can be used, of course. This is an auger system over here that feeds the incinerator section of the biomass generator where it converts the, the biomass into a gaseous substance and the gaseous substance, of course, burns very, very cleanly into this heat exchanger here. This heat exchanger here uses deionized water and pressurizes it up to 200 PSI and approximately 600 degrees. The, the gas flue that comes out of here is very clean. In fact, you can't even smell it once it's uh, operating. It goes through this tube here to the cylinders of the cyclone engine. Uh, the cyclone engine, of course, pushes the pistons, rotates the shaft, drives this generator. The generator has a capacity of 4.9 uh, kilowatts. Of course, from there, the water from the engine drives the pistons, goes down through this system into this uh, other heat exchanger here, a condenser, and cools it down and runs through a total closed loop system. There's no need to add water, use water, and there's no lubricating oils. The engine is all completely lubricated with deionized water. Now, Mr. Brown can explain a little more on the system. This engine itself is a marvel. It's, uh, we call it the WE engine, which stands for Waste Heat Engine. It's a low temperature, low pressure steam engine, six cylinder. Um, it uh, is self starting. If you put a temperature of a couple of hundred degrees and a pressure of uh, just a few pounds, it starts to turn. And it, the more pressure you put in it, the more temperature you put there, the faster it goes. The uh, heat exchanger on this side of the engine is used to condense the water so you can use it over and over and never have to add anymore. It also has a byproduct of heat that comes out that you use to heat a home or a cabin or whatever. Or you can use it for a dryer to dry the biomass if you're out in the, in the boonies in the middle of nowhere. This is the instrument panel for this particular application. This one is DC, it's 24 volts DC. We have the option of uh, either American or foreign alternating current. Um, the engine is capable, uh, depending on how much fuel you put in it, uh, of up to uh, 12 or 15 horsepower and uh, as much as 10 or 12 kW of power if you have that requirement. 